Hey, lads and girls! You are in the Football News Channel, which means that in a short time you're about to find out all the latest news from the world's number one game. Subscribe if you're not with us yet, support us with a like, and while you're typing, we proceed to begin. Let's get the show on the pitch! The story of Dybali and Juventus ends because all romances are not eternal. This is part of life. Allegri confirmed. Perisic intends to pursue his career at Inter. Both parties are determined to continue the cooperation and negotiations on a new agreement should start in the near future. Usman Dembele has overtaken Karim Benzema in terms of this season's La Liga assists, as both have 11 of them. Liverpool are close to signing Celtic super talent, 16-year-old attacker Ben Doak. A coach could play Maguire in easier games. The player needs to feel powerful and strong on the pitch again, Nemanja Vidic supposes. The management of Barcelona will try to find options to prolong the contract with Usman Dembele. The next meeting between the club and the player's representatives may take place this week. Xavi came back and brought hope to the people. I care about that too, because he's my friend. Today I want to follow Barcelona again, Ronaldinho told. Man City are a fantastic team. I felt we settled down a bit and caused them problems, Henderson shared. The FA will discuss with Ronaldo the incident at the Everton Man United match. The forward smashed a fan's phone. It's three points worth their weight in gold. The key moments are Ter Stegen's making a stop for the ages and De Jong's header. Xavi said after battling Levante. Dembele has delivered 9 assists in 2022. Only Messi has the same amount in the top 5 leagues. Barcelona are unbeaten in 15 matches, with 11 wins and 4 draws. Their current La Liga streak is 7 wins in a row. Inter are 2 points behind Milan while having a game in hand. Pioli's Lets had 0-0 shutouts for 2 match weeks in a row. I think we can describe it as a boxing fight. Both arms down for a second and you get a massive knock. Jurgen Klopp shared. Our game versus Liverpool? It was a good advert for the Premier League. I had a feeling we could leave them alive from here. Guardiola commented in a post-match interview. Roman Abramovich is attempting to buy Valencia. This was announced by the former vice president of Valencia, Miguel Sorio, who is also a contender to purchase the club. The way Man City played against Liverpool was very good. We should have scored more, stated Kevin De Bruyne. Liverpool have not beaten Man City in five consecutive Premier League games, having two losses and three draws. Mohamed Salah scored 159 goal involvement points for Liverpool in the Premier League. Only Gerard has more, 212. Guardiola and Klopp have drawn for the fifth time in the history of their meetings. They have nine wins each. Kevin De Bruyne scored in the fourth time in a row against Liverpool. The Sky Blues midfielder has six goals in the last six appearances. Liverpool and Salah are close to contract extension. They can agree on £400,000 a week for four years. Ronaldo got 5 out of 10 points from Sky Sports for the performance against Everton. Men gave him only 4. Lionel Messi is the first player to score 3 assists in 2 appearances in the same Liga 1 season since statistics began. I just don't get the hype around Guardiola. There are 3 current managers who I regard as more successful – Mourinho, Ancelotti and Klopp. Dietmar Hamann shares. Leo and Kylian are extraordinary. They are two geniuses. It's important that the chemistry between us gets stronger in every match. Unfortunately, everyone has gotten to pretty much 100% only at the end of the season, Neymar noted. Pedri has 80 offers from sponsors in three months of 2022. His and Gavi's jerseys are the best-selling merchandise products at Barca. Manchester United? There are no excuses. Uncertainty isn't great at any level. There should not have been a temporary coach. Rio Ferdinand believes. Juventus are considering Lodi and Emerson for the left-back position. Tottenham are ready to buy Dejan Kulishevsky from Juventus for 35 million euros. Manchester United lost any chances of getting the Premier League Cup. 
The club hasn't won league gold since 2013 and hasn't won any single trophy since 2017. Ronaldo will finish the season with no trophies in his back. New transfers? We're in the financial situation we're in now. We are not going to play games. We are very careful and level-headed, Xavi stated. To get the recognition of everyone in the world outside Man City, need to conquer Europe. Is it gonna happen? I don't know, Guardiola admitted. Rudiger wants to receive 12.5 million euros per year on a new contract, asking for a signing bonus of 20 million euros. Manchester United look like a shadow of their former selves. They are getting bullied by Everton. This team has got no discipline. Cristiano Ronaldo has hardly been in the game. Trevor Sinclair thinks. And now we are to take a look at Sunday's fixtures results. Moving on to the main topics of the day. Let's have a brief rewind of yesterday's games. In the Bundesliga, we highlight Leipzig thrashing Hoffenheim 3-0. In Serie A, we see Milan struggling to secure the first place, as the Red and Blacks are experiencing their second loss of points in a row. The Rossoneri could not outplay Torino 0-0. No, no. Now their leadership is a big question. In La Liga, all attention was riveted on the Levante vs Barcelona match. Three penalties were awarded to the Catalans, two of which getting converted. Barca responded to the daring frogs with three goals. Aubameyang, Pedri and Luke de Jong were accurate enough to succeed. Xavi's team continues to pursue Real. And finally, the main event of the day in which Manchester City hosted Liverpool. It was an epic battle for the championship. The tie kicked off with a goal from De Bruyne, though Liverpool, not without the efforts of Jota, responded eight minutes later. Still, in the 36th minute, Gabriel Jesus brought the hosts ahead. But Sadio Mane managed to restore the balance in the 46th minute. 2-2. The citizens gained a one-point advantage over Reds. Interestingly enough, after the final whistle, Guardiola and Klopp had a very friendly conversation, smiling all over the place. It's cool to see such shots and atmosphere. Cristiano Ronaldo's future at Manchester United is in doubt. Some club officials believe the Portuguese should be read off in the summer. But the final decision will be made by United co-owner Joel Glazer and the board of directors. Besides, before being appointed to the post of Manchester United coach, Eric Ten Hag wants to know what the club's plans are for Cristiano and other aged players who are not able to keep up with the energy-intensive football that he creates. We recall that the 37-year-old Portuguese has slotted 18 goals in 34 appearances for Manchester United this season. The mother of the boy, who suffered from the actions of Cristiano Ronaldo, criticized the footballer. The Manchester United forward smacked the phone of a 14-year-old Everton fan with autism and dyspraxia after the Mancunians' defeat in the Premier League match week 32. The Portuguese apologized on Instagram later on, but it seems like that wasn't enough. He had posted his statement, I was shocked that Manchester United did not publish anything about being able to contact the club. Instead, Ronald wrote about the opportunity to attend the team's match. I think it's very rude. Why do we, Everton supporters, need to go to a Manchester United game? He even wrote, this supporter. He did not indicate which club supporter. It's a very, very weak apology, in my opinion. Sarah Kelly responded. Kylian Mbappe has a desire to join Real Madrid, despite a new contract bid from PSG. The French forward has long made the decision to move Las Blancas, but will only announce it at the season's end. PSG regularly makes new contract offers to the striker, laying more and more money on the table over and over again. But Kylian doesn't accept any of those. The leaders of Real are calm in the current circumstances. They are convinced Mbappe will be at the club in the summer. PSG are willing to give the striker a 180 million euros bonus and pay 25 million a year, while his parents receive 50 million euros in case he stays with the Red and Blues. PSG players congratulated Kylian Mbappe and Neymar for scoring hat tricks yesterday. Lionel Messi, who made two assists on Mbappe, wrote on Kylian's ball. Congratulations, phenomenon! Other PSG performers also left signatures there. Chelsea striker Romelu Lukaku may move to Paris Saint-Germain in the summer transfer. The matter is reported by Butt. 
According to the source, representatives of the Belgian striker are negotiating with the French side. 28-year-old Lukaku have scored 5 goals in 20 Premier League appearances in the 2021-22 campaign. Barcelona will step up their efforts to sign Lewandowski only in case Bayern give the green light to the transfer. Relations between the clubs are not as good as they used to be and they don't want to put them at even more risk. The club also needs to lower the pay level. Friends, watch the suggested videos from our other projects. There is always something to check out. Have a good time viewing. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.